Two struts A, B, and A, C are loaded with 400 pound loaded A, as shown. You want to find the design angle phi between the struts A, C, and A, B, where in this case theta is 30 degrees, so that that 400 pound load has a 600 pound component acting along A, B. Now the first thing to notice is that this is not impossible for a 400 pound load to have a 600 pound component as long as you're not dealing with a rectilinear system. So, let's draw ourselves a free body diagram. We're going to have two forces along the two struts, A, B, and A, C. We know from equilibrium that these two are going to have to be equal to the 400 pound load. More to the point though, the resultant, we need to break this 400 pound load into parts that lie along A, B, and A, C. If we draw our triangle like this, we know that this part is going to be 600 pounds and is going to lie along the line from C to A. We also are going to need to know whatever this other piece is, this will lie along AB. The nice thing about that is that if this lies along AC and this lies along AB, then this angle right here is phi. Now this is not a right triangle. At this point we have to use the laws of sines and cosines instead of just sine and cosine to be able to find the relationship between the sides and the angles. Now I said it a little backwards. This line here lies along the AB route and this is along the AC route. So this is along AB and this is along AC and this is 400. We need this one to be 600. We don't know what this one is, but we know that that is equal to phi. So we can use the law of so cosines to find the force along AC. To do that, you need to know not what phi is, you need to know what this angle is here. Because to use the law of cosines, A and B have to be related such that theta is between A and B. So we need to find that other angle. In this triangle right here, 400 is horizontal, and this is lies along AB. Well, that angle right there is 30 degrees. So, we can plug 30 right in here for theta, and we can say that the force along AC is equal to 400 squared plus 600 squared minus 2 times 400 times 600 times cosine 30. And if you plug that in, you have 322.97. That's the third force. So you'll have 600 pounds along AB, you'll have 322.97 pounds along AC, and these two will add up to be the 400 pound load that is applied. That still doesn't answer the question. We need phi. To find phi in our triangle, we can use the law of sines. 322.97 over the sine of 30 is going to be equal to 400 over sine of phi. And if you plug that in, phi is 38.3 degrees.